sorry video we will talk about two dimensional paper chromatography say for example this is our sheet of paper and uh, we have placed our sample spot here and uh, this is dipped in mobile phase this uh, red side is dipped in the mobile phase and mobile phase has traveled upward this way and the components have been separated like this components have not been separated by the solvent system and then now we have another solvent system or another mobile phase with a different polarity and what we will do is we will rotate this sheet of paper at an angle of 90 degrees so that these spots are at the bottom side now we will have second solvent system and we will dip this sheet of paper in that second solvent system or mobile phase and the mobile phase the second mobile phase it will uh, move in uh, this direction till this point because this mobile phase has a different nature these two components which were not separated here so they are now separated from each other and we will have a better resolution better separation of the components so the tip here is that the solvent system will be changed solvent system mobile phase or different polarity and the paper sheet will be rotated at an angle of 90 degree and the same paper sheet will be developed again so we will have a chromatogram where the components are better separated